Hello viewers, welcome to Ghani SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create PEB knee joint in Tecla structures with S93. Let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment, click on application and component icon, type here PEB, select this component PEB tapered section S94, pick the first position at grid intersection point, press key O on your keyboard to activate orthogonal, then enter length of the column and click on enter on keyboard to create the column, right click on mouse, select interrupt to exit the command. To edit the column, double click on it, copy the bottom web depth value and paste it at top to maintain web depth throughout the column. Click on part tab, enter web thickness 3 16th inch. Enter flange thickness 1 4 inch. Enter flange width 8 inch, click on modify, apply, OK, to see the result. To get the plan view, click on view, select switch to 3D or plan. Click on column, right click on the mouse, select move. Select this option, select the midpoint, pick the destination point at here to place middle of the column at grid intersection point. Click on switch to 3D or plan to get the 3D view, select the column, right click on mouse, select copy, pick the origin point at grid intersection, pick the destination point to create the new column with same properties, click on application and component icon, select this component PEB tapered section S94, pick the first position at here. Pick the second position at here to create the beam. Double click on beam, select this option to flip the beam in other direction, click on modify to see the result. Now we are going to create the connection between column to beam, click on application and components, select PEB knee joint S93, select the column first and select beam second. Press the mouse scroll button to create the connection, right click on mouse, select interrupt to exit the command, click on space, right click on mouse, select redraw view for refresh the model, to edit this connection, double click on the connection. Select this option. Click on modify to see the result. To change the length of this connection plate, enter here 4 inch, click on modify, click on parts tab, enter the connection plate thickness 1 half inch, enter width 9 inch, click on modify to see the result. Click on Bolts tab. Select the bolt size 3 4 inch. Select the bolt standard A325 and enter tolerance 1 16th inch. Enter the edge distance and lengthwise 2 inch for one side. Enter number of bolt and lengthwise 2 for one side, distance between bolts and lengthwise 4 inch for one side. Similarly in width, wise enter edge distance 2 inch. Number of bolts 2, spacing between bolts 5 inch. Similarly with the same procedure you need to enter on other side of the connection plate, just like this.
click on modify to see the result. Click on picture tab, enter here 0. Click on modify. To remove stiffener it here. Click on parts tab, click on here and select this option. Click on modify to see the result. To edit this stiffener, click on picture tab. Enter here 4 inch and 3 inch 1 half. Click on modify to see the result. To change thickness of this stiffener, click on part tab. Enter here 1 fourth inch. Click on modify. To adjust these stiffeners, click on parts tab. Enter here 4 inch length. Enter the distance from inside of the flange to stiffener is 6 inch. We required only on stiffener for one side. So click on parts tab. Select this option, click on modify to see the result. To change this stiffener thick. Enter center 1 fourth inch it here. Enter with 4 inch 3 eighths. Click on modify. To change this diagonal stiffener, click on picture tab. To reduce the length of this stiffener, enter here 4 inch, click on modify. Enter here 4 inch, click on modify to see the results. To adjust this gap, enter here 0. Click on Modify. Enter here 0, click on Modify. It's showing clash between flange and stiffener. So enter here 3 sixteenths, click on Modify to see the result. It's perfect, there is no issue. Click on Modify, Apply, OK. Now we are going to create same connection at here, click on application and component, select PB knee joint S93, pick the column and then beam, press the mouse scroll button to create the connection, just like this. That's it about how to create PB knee joint and tecla structures with S93. 
If you have any doubts, please comment below. If like this tutorial, please like it and share it. For more techless structures related tutorials, go to my channel youtube.com slash SK. I will provide channel link in the description, go through it, and come here, please click on subscribe button, if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when I upload a new tutorial, thank you.